you want to know how I made this savvy meal? Well, keep watching this video. Right, guys, don't walk to little, run to little. Grab a basket and let's get to it. Right, first off, grab yourself one of these shepherd's pie mixes, 36 pence. Grab yourself some onions, some carrots, and two big potatoes. Right, next on the list, we need some mints. I'm gonna get this lean beef steak mint, 5%. And guys, do you not think these are so annoying, these vacuum packs from Lidl? Lucy, Lucy, cook me something up. Easy. Right, so I'm back home now, Lucy. So what exactly are you going to be cooking? Well, I was going to make just a shepherd's pie, but you've made a big Yorkshire pudding. So I'm going to be making shepherd's pie. I'm going to put it inside it. But you've got beef mince, Mark. It's meant to be lamb for shepherd's pie. So I'm going to start off with peeling my potatoes. Now they're all cut up. I'm going to put these in boiling hot water. Next, you want to chop your carrots up and we're using two. And also you're going to need one onion as well, so we're going to chop and dice this up. And get those straight into a hot oil pan. Along with your mince, and make sure you get all this really, really into little bits because it's vacuum packed. I absolutely hate this mince. Much prefer it in like the little tubs. What do you think guys? Are you with me? So I've just transferred that into a casserole dish and added the carrots. Now it does say that you can add peas if you like and I've got some frozen peas here so I'm just going to add some peas to this mix. Added the sachet to the jug and 300 ml of cold water so in that goes as well. And look at this weight, how fab is that? Just makes things a hell of a lot easier. Pour that on top, put some tin foil on and get that into the oven for half an hour. Right so that's ready to get out. So that's had a good half an hour now and it's bubbling hot. And the last five minutes, I just took the tin foil off the top. So I've just transferred all the mince onto the big, massive Yorkshire pudding. And now I'm just gonna do my mash as well. So I just got a fork and made all my mash really nice on top. And I'm gonna get this straight back into the oven just so it's warmed up. I'll give it about 10 minutes. And that is ready to get out. Oof. That is one hot dish that it looks amazing. Right, so let's dig in. Don't forget we've got the massive Yorkshire pudding under here as well. Look at that massive portion there. Ooh, Definitely that. enough for four people this. Look at that guys, what a savvy meal that is. Look at that. Right, let's give it a try then. Now let's see what it's like. I'm just intrigued to try this Yorkshire pudding, to be honest. Right, honest review of my Yorkshire pudding. Really good. Oh my word, that's good. That's absolutely gorgeous. Mm. How good's that, Lou? Absolutely stunning. And guys, thank you to each and every one of you that likes, shares, comments on the page. I couldn't do this without any of you, so thank you so much. If you'd like to give it a like and a share, that would help me guys as well. So thank you all very much. There you go, guys. Keep following for more Savvy Meals.